And in some other news tonight, MU faculty says they're concerned over the chancellor targeting individuals that criticize the university. ABC 17's Amber Tabling is live on Mizzou's campus. Amber, many are calling for an investigation into why campus police questioned one of those critics. Deborah Lucas, interim chancellor Moon Choi, told a newspaper reporter last week about tweets made by a journalism professor, Sebastian Martinez, about the Thomas Jefferson statue. Now, MU police even questioned Martinez about spray paint that was found near the statue last month. And during the faculty council meeting, some did say that Moon Choi's comments did make them fearful and intimidated. New faculty council members are upset about comments interim Chancellor Moon Choi made to a newspaper last week. That includes singling out a journalism teacher and reporter for tweets he made about the Thomas Jefferson statue on campus and asking senior campus leaders to support his choices or, quote, start looking for another job. There's a, a bigger issue here that your answer uh, is avoiding. And I think in addition to that, I think Ben kind of said in that same um, article, I think it was the same article, that people need to get new jobs if they don't agree. It was the right of those um, faculty and staff to tweet what they tweeted. They have a right to do that. Now, some on the faculty council won an independent investigation into how police ended up questioning Martinez for a June vandalism. Officers arrested MU student Ian Laird last month for reportedly spray painting something on the sidewalk nearby. Choi said he could see how this situation could be viewed in a negative way and that it is their First Amendment right to tweet their own opinions. When I sent the message to uh, Sebastian, you have every right to say it, but hey, can we think a little bit about what the consequences of the university may be if we promote, in that case, or appear to promote an all-out disruption at the university? Are there positive ways that we can get to that place? Choi said he wants senior leaders to support his decisions, but wants to meet with people that disagree with him. Once we do make a decision, if those leaders are out publicly saying that they don't support the decision, then we're not moving the institution forward. So my message was for them, for the senior leaders, and to say, how can we find constructive ways for us to move the university forward? Now, the faculty council does plan to discuss the resolution during its next meeting and the internal investigation later in August. Live in Columbia, Amber Tabling, ABC 17 News.